गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू हाई आई एम डॉक्टर नवीन तिवारी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग ग्राफिक एरा हेल यूनिवर्सिटी भीमताल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डू गेट मैथड दैट इज यूज इन जावा सर्वर एप्स द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेक्चर्स आर टू अंडरस्टैंड एच टी एम एल फॉर्म हैंडलिंग बाय सर्वर एप्स टू नो अबाउट डू गेट मैथड एंड टू इम्प्लीमेंट डू गेट मैथड इन टॉम गेट सर्वर इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सर्वर एप we have discussed about tomcat server and we have learned about how to implement a servlet in tomcat server in this lecture we will discuss in detail about do get and do post methods first of all let us understand how to handle the html form using servlets the ability to process user input is crucial to the success of any online program there's a good chance that we have, we will all made use of this function before whether it be a google search or a form filled out on a website contact us page input component like labels text boxes radio buttons choose menus drop down list photos and more come together to form a web page on the server a java servlet may enclose the forms input component in an html form to get them ready for submission data handling from the users is often gathered in this way using an html form and the data transmission to the server may be monitored via the use of http get and post methods the browser software is only capable of sending request in the get and post methods now the flow of the form handling is as follows an html form will be used to submit the request on the java servlet side it will be transmitted as a get or post method the servlet's reply will be formatted as an html form types of http request include get post and delete and many more now get the encoded user data is sent together with the page request using the get method post as a rule of thumb the post method is the most trustworthy way to transmit data to a server side application delete a file or directory from the server with the help of delete http request let us take a closer look at the two most popular http request methods get and post to see how they work below diagram shows such a process using java servlet on the server first of all the client request with the help of get or post method to the server now the server transfers this request to the http servlet in http servlet we have a service method in this service method we have do get and do post method so with the help of these do get or do post method this request gathered from the client will be handled and then it is calculated and converted to http response and then this response is transferred to server with the help of service method the server then transfer with the help of get response or post response to the client within the do get method the request object may be used to retrieve the get request argument and the response object can be used to configure the response that will be sent to the client within the do post method the request object may be used to retrieve the parameters of the post request and the response object can be used to configure the response that is sent to the client in servlet you can implement separate functionality for get and post request by making use of the do get and do post method respectively this is the sample code for using do get and do post method first of all we have to import some packages like java.io.star jakarta.servlet.star jakarta.servlet.http.star then we have to create our class public class my servlet extends http servlet we have already know about the http servlet class this is the main class that is used in our class to implement servlet then we have to override protect void do get method these do get and do post method both the methods are already implemented in the http servlet class we have to use these do get and do post method in our class by overriding them so we have overriding 
डू गेट मेथड एंड डू पोस्ट मेथड फॉर हैंडलिंग द गेट रिक्वेस्ट वी यूज टू गेट मेथड एंड फॉर हैंडलिंग द पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट वी यूज डू पोस्ट मेथड बोथ द फंक्शन और बोथ द मेथड है सेम सिग्नेचर रिस्पेक्टिवली विद द डिफरेंस ऑफ देयर नेम फर्स्ट वन इज डू गेट एंड सेकेंड वन इज डू पोस्ट अदरवाइज ऑल द पैरामीटर्स आर सेम एंड ऑल द एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग विल बी सेम वी हैव टू पास टू पैरामीटर एच टू टीपी सर्वोलेट रिक्वेस्ट एंड एच टू टीपी सर्वोलेट रिस्पॉन्स इन डू गेट and as well as in do post and we have to throw exceptions there are two exception that can be that may become in our handling first one is servlet exception second one is iu exception now first of all let us understand the architecture of do get method how we use do get method in the html form one of the most typical task in web development is dealing with form data in the form of an html page in most cases the user will complete a form by entering their information and sending it out after the client submits the request the server will use the information to determine how to respond in this section we will use the do get example supplied by the http servlet class to explain its functionality to process a get request the server will invoke the servlet's do get method through the service method and do get method is commonly used to retrieve data from the server first of all build a web application using the servlet platform that can determine the input from the user and then display it utilize an html form to solicit information from the end user based on the information that was entered show the end user the correct message in the relevant context first of all let us try a do get example first step open any text editor like notepad and write a simple program of html as follows and name the file as home.html so we are using here dev tag and in the dev tag we are using form attribute action that is check data and then method get here when we write get in the uh, in the attribute method it will call the get uh, do get method from the servlet if we write post here in the form of method then it will call the do post method in the servlet so we are using here do get method that is why we are writing it get get here in the method attribute then we are providing two input type text boxes first one is username its name is u name second one is user age its type is password so that it is hidden from the user entity and its name is u age then we are writing a submit button here submit button will automatically call the check data function from the server if we get the output of this html code will will be uh, given this this output in the html format and this is displayed in the web browser you are here with the two text boxes first one is username second one is user it and then a display button second step now create a server line. with the name check data dot java if you are aware that we have written form action check data here that is why we are creating the servlet name as check data the submit button will automatically call this java file for uh, when we press the submit button in html form now in this do get example in this check data dot java file we are writing it first of all we have to uh, call some packages Like Jakarta dot servlet, Jakarta dot servlet dot HTTP and Java dot I. Then we are writing a class name as Jack Data that that will extends HTTP servlet class. Now after this, overwrite the do get method as we are uh, giving an example of do get. So we are using only do get method here. Then public void do get. We have to pass two parameters. First one is HTTP servlet request. second one is http servlet response and it throws two exceptions first one is servlet exception second one is io exception after that declare some variable first of all one variable is printer writer object uh, through which we can print the data second one is string name third one is string age and we put null values to all these variables so that they can be initialized with the values that is transferred from the html page and there is a variable int age and we provide it as zero now create a servlet with the check data java and write the following code set content type first one is res that is the object of response class res dot set content type 
text html format then printer writer object pr we have to use pr assign res.getwriter so that we can print the data with the help of this object and then get the form data the form data that is passed through the html form with the help of req parameter req is the request object of servlet request class so first of all put req.get parameter and the name of that field u name in a name uh, variable and then req.get parameter u age field with t age parameter now the transfer uh, t age parameter to integer format and we are writing integer dot percent t age in age so that it uh, the string can be converted into a integer format then print name and age with the help of pr data pr dot print ln print ln is the method which is used in pr object to so pr dot print data and we are writing hello name then pr dot print ln uh, your age is age age and name are the variable so they are written without inverted comma hello and your age is is the string format so they are written in inverted commas first line is displayed with h1 function second right line is displayed with h3 parameter h1 and h3 are the tag that are used in html and now create the uh, jo, that, that object that we are used in pr we have to close that object with the help of pr dot close now compile the above file with the help of java c compiler open command prompt and write command java c check data dot java so that it can be compiled and converted into a class file if all goes according to plan the compilation process should result in a file named check data dot class in the same directory for deploying servlet put check data dot class into the tomcat installation directory slash web app slash root slash web inf slash classes directory and put home dot html file into the root directory the path of the root directory is tomcat installation directory is slash web app slash root you will find xml file named as web.xml file in tomcat installation directories slash web app slash root slash web inf directory at the following code in that file inside the web app tag this is the code that we will write in web app web.xml file inside the web app tag first of all write the servlet name check data and then write the servlet class check data you can change the name uh, with your own that doesn't matter but servlet class should be the same as we have created the file so servlet class is check data now for servlet mapping you have to write the name that we are providing in the servlet tag and then url pattern through which we can open this file in the web browser so we have uh, we have right we have right here url pattern as slash check data for running servlet start tomcat server and type http colon double slash localhost colon 8080 slash home dot html in the browser's address bar and then press enter the following result will be there if everything goes well this is the html file which we have created it is opened in your web browser now click on the uh, write your username and your user age and then click on the display button enter username and age and press display button for example we enter admin and 46 and then press display button this information username and age will be sent to the server by the browser and request will be handled by the servlet after getting the desired skin in our servlet check data dot class this request is gathered by http servlet request request object and output is generated by printer writer pr object as shown below this is the output that we will get in our browser with the help of servlet now for using this do get uh, code do get method you can see the data we have entered in html form can be seen at the address bar after the servlet name this is because the data is sent by get method form html form and handled by do get method in servlet as do get appends argument to a url and includes them in the headers it does not encrypt its input parameter because the data submitted can be plainly seen in the browser's url you should avoid using the get method if you are transmitting confidential information such as password instead use the post method so here are the learning outcome that we have learned in this example in this lecture we have understand html form handling by servlets we know how to use do get method and we can implement do get method in tomcat server
Thanks.